Welcome back everybody, Sign here again, and uh, I've decided to do something actually kind of drastic. I've actually completely gutted this area except for, well I left the obsidian for the portal behind, and I've got a bunch of conveyors upstairs still. I'm just going to leave those behind though, I've got plenty of conveyor belts. But what I'm going to be doing now is, uh, actually I'm going to be basically relocating my base to a new save file and it's all packed away in this little bag here and I got a bunch of, you know boxes inside of boxes and everything else and so like I said I'm just gonna be starting over but the main reason I've done that is I've actually added oh a few mods let's see Let's go. Where's my list at? Here it is. Okay. See, I've added um, Harvest Craft and the Hunger Overhaul. So, there's that to deal with. Which, like I said, I made a mention I wanted to add a Harvest Craft in. I kind of miss making the farms and Magic Farm and everything, so. There's that, and should make the game a little more challenging. The fun part will be is I don't know if the harvest craft mechanics is going to work with uh, like the auto feed on the helmet, or if it's going to do with like what Biome of the Plenty does, which is sucks down an entire stack with no you know reward for it. So I've also added roguelike dungeons into the mod. Uh, should be something fun to check out anyway. And I've also added uh, Tinker's Construct and Natura to the new world that I'll be generating. Which, between Harvestcraft and Natura, that's the reason I wanted to go ahead and make a new world, because otherwise I'd have to go quite a ways away to generate new uh, chunks, and I just don't really want to bother with that. And actually, let's see. My tanks are in here, right? Oh, that's right. No, actually, never mind. I can't. Yeah, here's all my boxes. I made some deep storage units for the uh, mob farm. They hold more than the barrels do, and they don't have the graphical glitch going on. Got quite a few filing cabinets now. I tanks of water to take with, just because there's my portal to the deep dark. But, um... Let's see. Get my wrench back out here. I was going to uh, you kind of see on the map on uh, that direction that light blue spot that's um, healing spring but you can only grab that with an amethyst bucket and I haven't made the uh, the portal to oh, what's it called the promised land I think it is from biomes of plenty which is about the only place you can find amethyst so I will definitely be doing that in the next world but just not quite yet. Oh, forgot some stuff here. I've even picked up most of my glowstone glass half slabs here. I say most of them. I forgot these over here between the farms. Okay. And actually, I do have. That is, I'm going to have to rebind that, because if you hit, oh, it brings up the Tinker's Construct thing. Whoops. Um, okay. My night vision. Um, let's try P. P should work, right? Okay. There it goes. Yeah. Pretty much there's no areas for mobs to spawn down here on the bottom level. That was the whole reason for half-slabbing it and using stairs and everything. Well, that and they can't spawn on bedrock either. So I am going to uh, put a cut in here and generate a new world and hope to God that everything works like it's supposed to. And if that's the case, I shall be back shortly. 
All right, there we go. And this is our wonderful new world. I um, one of the things you got to remember when you're trying to port over a character like this is it saves your location data. And because I signed out in my base, I was at Y6. I had to hop and create real quick and teleport myself up to avoid suffocating. So you got to do it yourself. Remember that. And, but, you know, the fun thing is, is I actually popped up right next to a desert temple, and I'm in a lush desert, so it, it really stands out. Let's see. There's a little light in the subject here, and it's still generating the world, so it's not terribly happy with me. One more. Pop that. There we go. What do we got? Oh, safari nets. Okay. Yeah, rotten flesh can stay put. Another safari net. Wow, it's really not happy with me, is it? Iron. Sacred oak sapling. Huh. Ooh, more shiny. Knock back. And I'll take the gold. And I'll take that too. And of course. And up and. Oh, there's a tree. I'm like. Uh, I had a flashback to a second to the uh, Meteorite mod when I was playing Hexit. So, I'm like, that's not supposed to be here. Okay, so, now I need to find a location for a base. Is this what I want? Yeah. Alright, now, to take it easy on everything, I am going to turn this down a bit. There we go. Uh, jump this can stay. So, okay, definitely keep the uphill step. Alright. There we go. Okay. I don't want trying to load chunks too fast, otherwise it'll lock up the system for a bit. Which is really easy to do when using the jetpack or the assist. And I am getting a little bit of sound lag. Familiar, huh? Eh, I'll take. Oh, and I turned on the biomes of plenty achievements. So we have that now, too. And. Jacaranda wood, I have that already. Acacia, I have. And I'm using uh, ATG, alternate terrain generation. Ooh, berries. For, uh. Do, do, do. Oh, for what? Uh, yeah, for the land generation, duh. But what it does is it'll actually take the biomes of plenty generation and tweak it so it makes uh, sense for the most part. Oh, yeah, glow flowers. What am I in, anyway? Oh, Mystic Grove. Hmm. Explains all the different types of trees. Where are you? Oh, Magic Wood, okay. Okay. Saplings coming in from everywhere. And let's see. Let's see a donkey up there. Ooh. Yes, please. I need reeds. Um What waypoint is that over there? Oh that village. Let's go see what was where that village was. Yeah, it moved all my waypoints over too, so. Um, I don't need biomes of plenty berries, really. I'll take the raspberry, though. There's a cave. I am going to get so full of seeds. It's not even funny. Alright, don't need the brick. Don't really need that either. Or dirt. Oak saplings. Celery, got raspberries, bromeliads, 
Sugar cane, yes. Blueberries, no idea. And just, let's get rid of this stuff here and keep that. And just to conserve space where we can. There's those. That and uh, that condensed it a little bit. Yeah, it really wasn't all that much glowstone glass for that. What are you? Hardened dirt. I'm overheating. I'm overheating. Overheating. Why am I overheating that much? F3, Chaparral, Canyon. Why did I overheat like that? Huh, that was weird. I kinda like this. Not real fond of the dirt, but I like the, the generation. Now I'm not overheating at all. What in the world happened there? Oh, it's because I'm burning buckets of water. Alright, that works, I guess. I'm, I'm not really burning through the water either. Huh. Quite a ways from that village, wasn't I? Or that waypoint, anyway. Let's grab some more sugar cane. I'm gonna be wanting to start up a farm for that, and the more I start with, the easier it'll be, so. Is he still bound up okay? Be. Ah! There we go. Make things just a hair bit easier. Still having to generate all these trunks as I go, though. Alright. Oh. Come on. Okay, now this is a little weird. Because, yeah, I'm at the waypoint. It's another flipping village. What do you got for me? Come on. There it goes. 25 emeralds for an angel statue, huh? Oh, come on here. This isn't Terraria. And why do I keep picking up cinnamon? We got tomato, coffee, asparagus. I got some pears and bananas. Don't need the roses either. Blueberries. Artichokes. Huh? Yeah, I don't care. I got a graveyard. Hmm. Got a garden. Berry bushes. Oh, I got a villager statue. How'd you die, buddy? Jimmy was pummeled by a skeleton dog, huh? Well, Jimmy, you're coming with me. Yeah, my tools are all just a little on the the too fast side. Oh, I got berry picking achievement. What type of tree is this? Uh, normally, you just right-click on these when they're mature, but I'm not planning on hanging around. You are... What, almonds? Walnuts. Alright, let's see. Time for a little more inventory management here. I don't need bluebells. Walnuts, there's that berry, which 
is useless with the helmet. And I'm going to cheat a little bit. Turn that off. There it goes. And blueberry bushes. These I will take. There we go. So I think what's going to happen is I'm just going to run around off camera now and find myself a good place to kind of set up shop. Let's get some rhubarb. And oh, blackberry bushes. Yes, thank you. I think in a plains biome close to a village, but not real close to it. Um, one thing I've noticed for some reason, passive mobs seem to be lagging me out. Hostiles? Not a problem. Passive mobs will not shut the hell up, though, and the sound is doing some issues to the system, so... More fun times. Alright, welcome back. And I think I found the place that I'm going to, uh, set up. Uh, my, uh, farms and everything. Oh, that was nice. Um, oh. Ooh. If I hold shift when I do this, yeah, I'm still passing back a good distance. But it's got sheep, which uh, I can deal with, I guess. It's actually kind of funny. It's a lavender fields biome. So I've gotten tons of flowers so far. Because I've been using the, uh, oh, hello string. The leaf blower attachment to clear the area out. This is pretty much uh, part of these I grabbed on the way over here. The rest of it was all from here, <laughs> including all these damn flowers. Go away. You too. And you. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Oh, I got a bow. Nice. But the main reason I chose it is just, it's flat. Well, ish, but it's going to be a whole lot less work for me to try to terraform this out than it would be any of the uh, other biomes I come across. It's about the flattest one I've seen. And, well, I do have a little ravine right here, so might find some use for that, too. I've got, oh, what's it called? Up, we go. And, do, do, do. oh, still lavender fields. I got a desert right there, and then across this green stretch here, there is a mushroom area, or mushroom biome. Kind of, eh. It's not like a mushroom island biome. Does have mushrooms. Come on. Uh, let's see. Yeah, here we go. Do, 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 do. Ah. Yep. Fungi forest. Oh. Go away. Thank you. Oh, hey, look. Portobellos and stuff here. Cool. So, yeah, I'm going to be uh, doing some work off camera. That's a ravine. Thank God for jetpacks. It's actually slightly faster to swim than it is to fly right now. I don't know, don't know why, for sure. And... Yeah, it. I've got it maxed out so it does a 9x9 nine nine area. Hey. Oh, I never put melee assist on that one. Who's shooting at me? You? You're shooting at me? Go away. Come on. Just... And 
And of course, there's no lights or anything. Oh, hello. I like my real gun. It's nice and handy. But I think I'm going to leave... Actually, I don't know. I mean, I've got enough dirt I could like fill in this little depression here. So I think I'll do that. Oh, that was a double shot. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. What are you? Ten gravel ore, huh? Just one? I don't... I really don't need that bow. Yep, yeah, and with the mods I added, after all the terrain generated and everything like that, I seem to be actually running uh, pretty lag-free. So, you know, well, as like free as possible for, you know, FTV. Go away. Um, don't really need any more of these stinking flowers. Oh, or a zombie head. I've got a lot of those. Oh, I got iron off the guy. A whole bunch of seeds there. See, I'm going to be doing some basic terraforming. You know, things like that. And I'm going to start setting up some farms and everything. Actually, the first thing I should probably do is set up a safe house. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. But I'm going this time, I think, with a uh, kind of like a decentralized base. So actually, the first thing I should probably do is set up a power core. Hmm. Yeah, I'll do that first. Um, make sure these things stack right. Do, 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 do. There are so many different types of seeds. And they all have different IDs, so I can't use filing cabinets. Damn, I was thinking... Something I was thinking about, and... No, turns out I can't, so... Yeah, put the dirt in there too, I guess. Come over here now and grab this stuff. So I definitely am not going to be using barrels for the you know, the different crops and everything. Oh, let's see. Let's just do a quick check here. Okay, we got Pam's Harvest Craft, right? There's the drum that everything shows up as. Um, you know what, actually? That's the amount of seeds I got. I got seeds, pumpkin, melon from vanilla. Is that hop seed sapling? Okay. Ascended glitch. Those are actually kind of cute trees. Uh, different hop seed things from Natura. Planks. Fence, okay. And I got barley and cotton from Natura. But tweaked for hunger overhaul. And we got the seed bags. Saguaro so fruit, huh? Cool, I'll have to find some. But and then, yeah. Okay, this is what? Six wide, one, two, three, four, five, six, this is already eight. Uh, 38, 43, not counting that one. 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 57 different types. And then two from Biomes Plenty. Yeah, that would be a wall of barrels by itself. And then the seeds in the uh, crop won't go in the same, you know, barrels. So that's two barrels apiece. And why the... Oh. That's why. Well, let's see if I do that. All right, that takes care of that. Yeah. Don't really like floating trees. There we go. 
Yeah, we got this ravine. Oop. Got our tin. There we go. Aluminum. That, that's, I think, the only overworld metal really added by Tinkers. There's two more than Nether, but I think the rest of them were already in thanks to Thermal. Yeah, Copper was already in. Oh, uh, Steel got added. Ooh, that... Definitely have to set up my, uh... My zombie grinder again. If I can get chain mail. So yeah, I've got a lot of things I need to work on, but, uh... I'm gonna call it an episode, and I think... The uh, next episode, I'm gonna be working on a power station. Of some flavor. Um, at the very least, I'm gonna get my lava system hooked back up and running again. And then, uh, I think I'm going to use Mine Factory, run a tree farm, turn it all into charcoal, and use that in a whole bunch of sterling engines, because unfortunately you can't make liquefacted charcoal. But, uh, I've got a bunch of coal too that I can. Yeah, I'm going to eh, set up a few different power options and kind of go from there, because it's relatively easy to make the liquefacted coal. And it provides more flux than it takes to generate, so that should be, you know, that'll be good enough for me. I mean, it uses coal, but it's plentiful. I've got a fortune pick. I can pulverize it, you know, all that fun stuff. Oh. Oh. So, yep, I shall see you next time, and this is Sign, signing out. <laughs>